interested in getting tickets to a concert or sporting event, use SeatGeek and get $20 off on your next purchase with promo code OVERSPORTS. That's O-B-E-R-S-P-O-R-T-S, OVERSPORTS. What's going on, guys? Jacob Ober here coming to you with my reactions to Packers versus Lions, Week 2 at Lambeau Field, home opener for the Green Bay Packers. And the Packers win tonight by a final score of 35-17. to 17. Uh, A rough first half turned into a great second half for the Green Bay Packers on both sides of the football. Um, the defense at first in this game, uh, it was it was bad. It was really, really rough to watch. Uh, I mean, the one thing that stood out to me in the first half by the defense was the lack of the pass rush. I mean, the Packers just could get no semblance of any pressure on Jared Goff in the first half and that changed a bit in the second half the Packers got pressure on Goff more and it led to him making some mistakes he threw an interception uh had a couple passes that could have been picked off otherwise um and in general was not as good in the second half so the pass rush definitely improved there but still the defense as a whole for me is kind of a concern uh the Packers gave up almost six yards carry on the ground tonight and that has me worried for next week with the San Francisco 49ers and their rushing attack. They don't have Moster, but, uh, you know, they didn't, they're probably not going to need him <laughs> with their offensive line. But um, as for the offense, you know, the offense looked really good throughout the entire night. There was a couple drives where uh, they went three and out, and it was kind of confusing, uh, the play calling. But, you know, other than that, I mean, the Packers offense was like a well-oiled machine tonight they were playing extremely well extremely in tune with each other and Aaron Rodgers had a great 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 bounce back game after last week 255 yards four touchdowns uh 22 of 27 passing 145 yard, or a, a rating of 145 um I mean that was an MVP level response you know it may have been against the Lions but still uh, I mean, his throws were on point tonight. He only missed a couple uh, to MVS. Probably actually should have had three touchdowns to MVS that he just missed. Uh, one of them was at the goal line. I think he was off. He wasn't on the same page as MVS. Then, um, then there was the two deep passes to MVS that he just barely overshot him. Uh, I think he kind of overestimated where MVS was going to be there. So uh, I'm not really too concerned about those. But you know, overall, Aaron Rodgers was. MVP Aaron Rodgers tonight, which is what I really wanted to see. And Aaron Jones, by the way, Aaron Jones, four touchdowns tonight, ties a Lambeau field record. Um, he was great. And the Packers got to continue feeding him the ball. I mean, he had 67 yards on the ground, 48 yards receiving, three receiving touchdowns, one rushing touchdown. And really, you know, everything that the Packers did tonight was set up by Aaron Jones. Uh, Aaron Jones's ability, you know, to create and, uh, make plays is just, it, it's, it's really hard to replace in this Packers offense, believe it or not. And, you know, I've talked about in the past about Aaron Jones potentially being a replaceable player, but really I'm starting to realize more just how important Aaron Jones is to the Packers offense, because as much as I like AJ Dillon, he's not the kind of guy who, uh, is going to be the receiving threat out of the backfield, the kind of guy who, uh, you know, is really shifty and able to, you know, make something out of nothing. He's a guy who's going to just kind of run you over. And those two complement each other really, really well in the backfield. So uh, Aaron Jones' uh, con contributions to this offense are still, I think, underrated. And I definitely, uh, I don't think I was right about Aaron Jones uh, being in dis or dispensable at last offseason because that contract that four-year contract they gave him kind of confused me but you know it's it's clear what the Packers want to do they want to run the football to set up the pass and that's what they did tonight and it led to a great game for Aaron Jones a great game for Devontae Adams and a great game for Aaron Rodgers so um overall you know the big concern for me is still the defense. I mean, the defense played a lot better in the second half for sure, but they're not going to get to play Jared Goff and the Detroit Lions every single week either. And they did not look good in the first half. Uh, so hopefully they can at least hold their own against the 49ers and the Packers offense can uh, put some points on the board against the 49ers defense, which is one of the better units in the league. So um, one player, though, that did impress me on defense, uh, Eric Stokes, um, 
he looks like he's taken that number two cornerback job away from Kevin King, thank God. Because uh, Kevin King looked bad tonight. He looked very, very bad tonight. Started on the first drive of the game, third play, third down and one. Gets burned by Quintez Cephas. Um, I mean, King, you know, he's just not fast. To me, it's, it's, it's a matter of, I think, speed. He's just not able to keep up with some guys. Uh, and, you know, he gets turned around and... I mean, it, that's it, you know, and so leaving him, especially in man coverage on an island against guys, uh, that's like, that's just asking him to get burned. So hopefully uh, the Packers continue with Stokes as the number two guy. I, I wouldn't mind Kevin King in more of a slot or a slot corner role. Uh, I think he's better suited to cover, you know, slower guys like tight ends and uh, slot receivers and stuff versus the burners on the outside. Uh, but overall, you know, the less Kevin King, the better. <laughs> uh, I, st I still think he can have a role on this team, but man, he has just had a really, really rough start to the year. But thankfully, it looks like we might have something good in Eric Stokes. He has tremendous ball skills, and he was all over the field tonight. Um, and every time they threw at him, I feel like he was making a pass breakup. So uh, I'm excited to see what he can do for this team this year. So Anyways, guys, so that's all I really got to say in this video. Uh, a really great bounce back win for the Packers. Exactly what I wanted to see from Green Bay tonight. A double-digit a double digit touchdown win, or a double-digit score win. Um, and offense looks like it's back on track, and defense definitely looked a lot better than week one, although there I still have some concerns about the defense overall. But anyways, guys, so that's all I got to say. I will see you guys next time. Uh, hopefully after the end of the 49ers game on Sunday Night Football last, or next, yeah, this Sunday, yeah, this Sunday, we play the 49ers on Sunday Night Football, so I'll see you guys then, thanks for watching everybody, and of course, Go Pack Go!